Good morning, welcome to episode six of Mighty Mongos. It's so good to be with you again this morning. We're excited for what's ahead, uh, but it's time to start as we always do by getting up on our feet and getting ourselves moving. It's time for the Mighty Minute. Are you ready? I don't know about you, but that's got me going. As you know, today is our very special Mighty Mungo's Leaders Takeover. It's time now for Joke of the Week. Let's see which leaders have sent in some videos. What do you call a boy with sweeties in his pockets? Smarty pants. <laughs> Hello everyone, I've got a question for you. What's the difference between a Brussels sprout and a bogey? Well, you can't get children to eat Brussels sprouts. Why was the sand wet? Because the seaweed. Why wouldn't the shrimp share his treasure? Because it was a little bit shellfish. Miss you guys, hope you're all well. Hey, Abby. Yeah. Why did the fridge get stuck in the tree? I don't know, why did the fridge get stuck in the tree? It had no arms. <laughs> why do French people like eating snails? Why do French people like eating snails? Because they don't like fast food. <laughs> what do you call a mischievous egg? <laughs> a practical yoga. <laughs> hey guys, it's Fraser from Livingston. It's been such a long time since I've seen you look at the size of my beard. It's amazing. Anyway, since I look like a Viking, I thought I would tell you a joke about Vikings. What do Vikings use when they want to talk in a secret? Norse code! <laughs> oh, no. Here at Mighty Mungos, we want to be a people who are thankful. In Colossians 2, chapter 7, it says that once we understand just how much God loves us and what he's done for us, we can't help but overflow with thankfulness. And that goes for our leaders as well. So let's see and listen to what our leaders are thankful for in their lives in our section. Gratitude Attitude. What I'm really thankful for at the moment is long walks and cycles in the Pentlands, mostly with my little friend here, Coco. I'm thankful for all the amazing key workers. There are absolutely loads of things to be very grateful for at the moment, but I've just chosen three. I am so grateful for the amazing countryside we have around us in Bolerno that we've been able to enjoy during lockdown. I am very grateful that the schools will hopefully be going back full time in August. And above all, I'm just so grateful that we have a God that we can trust at all times, even when life feels uncertain. I'm thankful for um, being able to explore the beautiful place that we live in. Hi, mighty mongoes. You know, I'm thankful for, I'm thankful for cycling. Cycling, you can go off-road, on-road, and you can do a bit of speed. It's great fun. But what I'm really thankful for, and I want to show you, I'm really excited about, is... Yippy sticks. Yippy sticks, yes, I've been meaning to show you this for ages. It's a really fun wee thing. You know what? God loves fun. He loves a bit of fun. And this is a bit of fun. Let me show you. 
what it is, is two sticks here. One stick has got a nail on the end of it, and a lollipop stick makes it a wee propeller here, nice and loose. And then what you do is you rub all the stick along the ridges and it makes the propeller go round. And the reason it's called a yippee stick is you'll find out very shortly, yippee! And it changes direction. 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 That is a yippee stick. Thank you, God, for yippy sticks. I'm thankful for cooking and all the wonderful, delicious food we've had during lockdown as a family. Hi, everyone. Uh, what am I grateful for? I am grateful for delayed gratification, which is waiting and waiting and waiting for something that you passionately, badly, badly want. And you sometimes think, it'll never come. It'll never happen. But when it does, after years and years of waiting, it feels amazing.
As you know, this is our special Leaders Takeover Mighty Mungos. They've been sending in their favourite memory verses, the verses that mean something particularly significant to them uh, and the ones that they've been building their life on. I wonder which ones they have chosen. Let's watch them in our section, the Memory Verse Challenge Leaders Special. Now I was looking at the Bible and there's a, a psalm in the Bible that to me shows how amazing everybody is and how God loves each one of us in a very individual way. It's Psalm 139. O oh Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. You know when I sit down and stand up, you know my thoughts even when I'm far away. You see me when I travel and when I rest at home. You know everything I do. You know what I'm going to say even before I say it. You go before me and follow me. You place your hand of blessing on my head. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too great for me to understand. Thank you. Psalm 121. 
I lift my eyes up to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. So there you go, guys. I hope you're all doing good and I'll see you soon. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Here's one of my favourite memory verses, Philippians 4, verses 6 and 7. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything that we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. One of my favourite Bible verses is Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 2. God has chosen you to be his treasured possession. Hello everyone at Mighty Mungo's. It's good to see you. This is Susan. Um, Dave Lyons has asked me if I would tell you um, my favourite Bible verse. I'm going to cheat. I can't choose just one verse. Uh, I chose three. Don't tell Dave. Shh. So, um, I like this verse so much that a few years ago I decided to draw it um, in uh, lots of bright colours and I put it up on my wall. That was the wrong way around, I think. Um, so I want to tell you where the verse is. It's in a book of the Bible called Habakkuk. You're probably going to have to look that up in the contents page of your Bible. It's not a, a Bible book we look at often. It's Habakkuk chapter 3, verses 17, 18 and 19. I'm going to read you out just verses 18 and 19. But I will still celebrate because the Lord God saves me. The Lord God gives me strength. He makes my feet as sure as those of a deer. And he helps me stand on the mountains. And right now you're probably thinking, why is Susan's favourite verse about a deer? That's weird. I better explain why it's my favourite verse. So the first thing you need to know is Habakkuk lived hundreds of years ago. And life wasn't easy when he was alive. But even though life wasn't easy, he has decided to celebrate God. Uh, he's written that God makes him strong. God gives him strength. Do you know that's really challenging me? So, so asking me... Can I celebrate God even though life isn't easy right now? Yeah, that's quite simple. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Romans 8, verse 28. One of my favourite verses is from Psalms 91, verse 2. It says this. I will declare this about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I will trust him. One of my favourite verses in the Bible comes from the Old Testament from the book of Isaiah. Even youths grow weary and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. One of the great things of living in Palermo is the birds all around us soaring up in the sky. We don't get many eagles here, but we get a lot of buzzards and you'll see them soaring effortlessly up into the sky if you look around you. And this is a picture here. You know, sometimes we do get a bit weary, a bit fed up. Maybe you've been at home, stuck with your parents or your brothers and sisters, getting a bit tiresome and weary. And this verse here says, we don't have to do this on our own. It says, put your hope in God, trust him. And then that will be like soaring in the sky like an eagle. Be a lot less effort, eh? So let's not do things in our own strength. Let's talk to God and do it in his strength. Wow, it's just so good. There's so much good stuff in there. We're going to set you a memory verse challenge for next week. It's actually, we're going to use Mark Stevenson's one. And here's Evie saying it for you. So you can film it this week and send it in so that it's ready for next week's episode of Mighty Mungos when we're back again with videos from you guys. So do send in your jokes, do send in your thankful gratitude attitudes, and do send in this memory verse, which is... 
Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Never rely on what you think you know. From Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5. Because so many of our leaders got involved with our Mighty Mungo's Leaders Takeover this week, we actually don't have time for a talk this week. But do join us next week again when we're going to be continuing our series on the names of God. Next week is an absolute belter. We're going to be looking at God, my healer. So join us next week for that. But now our time has almost come to an end. Just before we go, there is of course time for my favourite part, Family Face Off. <laughs> Right before we go, I'm going to pray for our leaders. Father, I thank you so much for all the different leaders across the 0 to 18 team here in St. Mungo's Church. I thank you for the way that they have a heart for young people, that they love young people, that they show your love to young people. I thank you for the way that they use their gifts and the skills that you've given them to help bring the next generation up in the faith, to help grow the next generation in their faith. I thank you for the way that they see that young people today are they're not just for the future, they're for the now as well. Thank you for the way that they are helping them grow in their understanding of who you are, understanding the gifts that you've placed in each one of them and helping to use that. Father, we pray that you would bless them and restore them over this summer period, over this time when we can't be together, that you'd be refreshing them, that you'd be re-energizing them. Father, that you'd be giving them fresh vision for what it means to work with our children and young people here at St. Mungo's Church. They're a huge blessing to us as a church family. Father, we honor them and we want to celebrate them. Would you pour out your favor and your blessing upon them? In Jesus' name, amen. It's now time for you to pop off, nip to the loo, grab a drink, refill your snacks, get up, turn around, stand up, bend down, all that kind of stuff. Get yourself ready, pumped, excited, ready to join us back at 10.30 for the next part of our morning service together. We're going to have some worship, we're going to have the Word of God, we're going to have some time praying together. It's going to be absolutely amazing and we can't wait to spend it with you. Join us back here at 10.30 for the next part of our service together.